Hello everyone. So, okay. This has been bugging me and this is another thing that, you know, people have been saying and that you won't hear from anyone else or anywhere else. If Trump gets sworn in, you know, if they don't come out of the closet about a lot of stuff that's going on, but if Trump gets sworn in, and it very much looks like that's what they're going to do, those who are actually in power have decided that they don't want the U.S. to have presidencies or presidents anymore. They're sick and tired of the unpredictability is what it is, uh, of having a new leader every four years. They didn't like that. Those who are in actually in power wanted the U.S. to have one leader and one leader only. So you will not hear this anywhere else. The U.S. is now, if Trump gets sworn in, a dictatorship. The U.S. is a dictatorship. And this has been annoying the flying fuck out of me. People have been saying in four years, in four years, there is not, this is it. Trump himself said that there will not be any more elections. It will not be in four years. In fact, the way it's going to be is that Trump is going to pass away and he is going to rule from death, essentially. Uh, you know, others will secede him, but there will be no more elections in the U.S. The U.S. is now passing into a very unfree country. It is a it is now a dictatorship, period, point blank. We are now a dictatorship. This was the last election that we will ever have. Okay? And the other thing I want to say about that real fast is that if in four years people suddenly get all upset and try to, literally it will be overthrow the government, I just want to say January 6th, they already proved that that will not happen. Um, they already did a test run of the system to make sure that that can't happen in this quote free unquote country. It won't be, it's not free anymore from this point forward. Um, not like it ever was free. I'm just saying, not like the elections ever were, you know, decided by the people, but putting that aside, it, they're now out of the closet about this country not being free. And they decided to have one constant and continuous leader. And so in four years, if people start rumbling and trying to get you, don't let them spend your physical body, your physical health, your mind, anything to try to overthrow the leader in this country. Don't be a pawn in these kings, these fighters, these quote rebels, unquote, these people who will try to overthrow and gain gain leadership, gain the presidency, what have you. Don't be a pawn. Don't be controlled. Don't be cannon fodder. You know, don't let them spend you and your money and your brains and your life to try to, quote, get this country back, gain the presidency back, whatever, unquote. Okay, Wh whatever excuse they try to use. Don't, just don't. Please don't. Uh, it will be terrible. It's going to be terrible. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if in four years, you know, people get together and try to overthrow it. But I do just want to say right now, while we have had Biden, a Democrat, as president, they have passed laws making it a federal offense and you are seen as a terrorist in this country right now. While Trump is not in office, while Biden is in office, while Democrats are in office and have control, they have made it a federal offense and you are seen as a terrorist if you protest. And they said that they were passing those laws in relation to January 6th, but then they ended up using that against the very protesters against the genocide in Gaza, against Israel. They ended up passing those laws and then using them against the very Democratic, Democrat, liberal, progressive protesters who were fighting for the rights and the lives of the Palestinians that this country was going after, literally, via Israel and a whole other land. So, if they're willing 
to make, if this country is willing to make its own citizens federal criminals because they are protesting for the lives of other people in a whole other country, if they're willing to do that while we still have, quote, freedom and a democratic and people elected president, ruler, king, emperor, whatever you want to call it, they're willing to do that now. Think how much worse it's going to be in four years when, quote, Trump's presidency should be over, unquote. Literally. What has happened now is that upon Trump being sworn into office, we are now living no longer in a democracy, but we are living in a totalitarian regime. We're living in a very, you know, people want to say communist China regime, Russia, whatever. We are no longer free. We are no longer a democracy. We are no longer the the United States as it's been known. And watch out because nobody's free. Nobody's free. My suggestion at this point is to hide out. And I, but just to make sure. Um, oh, and here's, here's some other points. Here's some other points. And literally, first off, for everyone that who thought that getting Trump in would solve your problems, first mistake, first mistake. And this, this is true even if Kamala Harris got in. And I actually wrote this for Kamala Harris, thinking that she was going to get in. But since she's not, this now goes to Trump. So, first mistake, thinking the election was going to solve all our problems. You know, that's your first mistake. The election will not solve all your problems. We were going to have to fight even after Kamala Harris, I wrote it for her, got in. And we'll have to fight now. But now the fighting will have to change fundamentally. So first off, save your money. Okay, now that Trump's gotten in, save your money. Save your money, save your money. Number two, only pay for and give money to those, you know, who are of the rainbow crowd, lesbian, gay, bi, transgender, asexual, questioning, and queer, you know, intersex, what have you, um, two sold plus, whatever. Only give your money to women, black people, you know, Mexicans, Latinos, foreigners, um, the chronically ill and disabled. They especially need your help. The chronically ill and disabled. They can't, some of them, like me, can't even get out of bed. People who are not Christian, give your money to people who are not Christian. Wiccans, pagans, atheists, humanists, feminists, you know, and anyone who's not Christian, um, I, I can't even think of it all. Give it to humanists, give it to feminists. Uh, give it to protesters of genocide and wars, just et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, and since this is getting near the 10 minute mark, it's already at eight minutes. Um, I'm going to try to cut it off here. The only other note that I have here is that Pluto is going into Aquarius. Literally, Pluto is going into Aquarius, which equals death. Pluto is death. Aquarius is youth and the people. Guess what this means? All these astrologers say, oh, youth and the people are going to get their rights and their power. No, no. Pluto is going into Aquarius, which means death to the people. Death to the youth. Death to the youth and the people having power. Death to them having power at all. Pluto is going into Aquarius. That is very, very, very bad. That means that it will be death to the youth. Death to the humans death to the people and all power will be given to those on top. I'm sorry. And that is what is already happening. That is why we are going into a dictatorship. That is why we are going into a totalitarian regime. That is why, you know, and this is happening, you know, that is why we're going into fascism. We're going into fascism the whole world over, if you haven't noticed. No one is free at the start of this, you know, at the start of this, no one is free unless there's a toppling, unless they catch it right now. The U.S. rules the world. There's the U.S. and then the rest of the world. The U.S. is the head. 
the U.S. rules the world. So if the U.S. goes dictatorship, if the U.S. goes totalitarian regime, guess how much worse it's going to be for the rest of the world? Guess how much worse it's going to be for the rest of the world? A fuck ton worse. I'm warning you. This is already at the basically 11 minute mark. I got to cut it off. Bye.